Hello and welcome to Africa 54. I'm trained by Linusoa Channel's television here in Lagos. I'm joined by Esther Guthrie Ewart, a Voice of America in Washington. Thanks, I'm Esther Guthrie Ewart at our global headquarters in Washington, D.C. Happy to be with you again for another edition of Africa 54. Let's start off with a look at breast cancer awareness in Yobe State. Chamberlain Uso in Lagos brings you that story. Well, that's right. Yobe State Government, in partnership with a non-governmental organization, is creating awareness about the importance of breast cancer screening as it organizes free screening for not less than a thousand women across the state. The chief medical director of the Yobe State University Teaching Hospital says the exercise aims to enlighten women about the signs and symptoms of the disease in order to reduce the mortality rate. Cancer is said to be one of the world's largest health problems. The most commonly diagnosed type of cancer originates in the skin, lungs, pancreas, the breasts, and other organs and glands. Breast cancer is a leading cause of death in women worldwide. It accounts for about 29.7% of all cases amongst women in Nigeria. The incident has reportedly increased from 15 per 100,000 to 33 per 100,000 persons over a period of 16 years. As part of efforts to reduce the number of deaths as well as improve response to the disease, a free three-day breast cancer screening is being held at the Yobe State University Teaching Hospital in Damatu, the state capital. The aim is to encourage women to regularly check for signs and symptoms of cancer as early detection is key to survival. The aim of uh, you know creating awareness among populations and you know and communities around the world about the you know devastating effect of cancer and the need for you know uh, screening and as well as early detection because uh, these two things can improve survival in itself. If somebody presents early and the cancer is you know detected earlier, you know a cure is possible. We are offering the women of Yobe State um, a free breast cancer screening and in this program we are giving them a wellness check, a clinical breast exam, an ultrasound uh, and then a mammography all for free. You know uh, in Nigeria of today there has been issue of a high rise in breast cancer detection amongst our women. The beneficiaries who are also enlightened about self-examination are happy with the opportunity to know their health status while getting useful information. It is, it's just a global issue now on breast cancer. So it's very important because most of our women are not learners, so they cannot observe themselves for those signs. So it's very good anywhere they see this opportunity and it's free. So it's very good they should come out because health is wealth. Cancer has been a deadly disease for many decades. Experts say that only in the past century has medical science understood what it really is and how it progresses, with remarkable advances in diagnosis, prevention and treatment. Ultimately, the determining factor remains early detection. Well, to speak more now on cancer care in Nigeria, we're joined by Dr. Babatunde Ikbaye, a health consultant to the World Bank. Welcome to the program, doctor. Let's start with a little understanding of the disease called cancer. Unlike many other health problems, the causes are clearly defined, but with cancer, it's very vague. Could you describe the prognosis of cancer the minute it takes, the minute it attacks the body? Uh, well, cancer definition is not vague uh, because cancer is just uh, abnormal proliferation of cells of the body. And when it gets to a point where the body can no longer control the division of the cells and becomes, um, you know, cancerous, and that is why we call it cancer. So the, the pathology, the etiology, and of most cancers is uh, understood. Uh, but however, it is because uh, in this part of the world, uh, we have not come to reality with understanding uh, what predisposes to different forms of cancer. In terms of prognosis, the prognosis of cancer is actually dependent on when the diagnosis is made. If the diagnosis of cancer is made very early, in, in the, uh, very early, for instance, when you have a case of very early diagnosis, the prognosis is good. And those who have been detected at stage one or sometimes very early stage two, 
have continued to live normal life. So the prognosis is dependent on when a patient presents in the hospital. The problem here is that most people do not present in hospitals in Nigeria until the advanced stage of cancer, usually say three or four. And at that point, there's hardly much anybody can do, and that prognosis becomes bad. And that is why the case fatalities in Nigeria is high as 70 75%. Well, unfortunately, as deadly as cancer is, the treatment is quite expensive. How accessible is cancer response and treatment in Nigeria, considering the number of functional cancer treatment centers and the speed at which cancer cells spread? I think what we need to know about treatment is that treatment or management is a continuum. Um, management of cancer starts from prevention to early diagnosis, uh, treatment and rehabilitation. For those who present very early, particularly for you know men or women who start you know checking up their body after the age of 30, 40, and the cancer is discovered very early in stage one, you know treatment is um, treatment is, is is not as expensive. It is when it becomes um, difficult to manage that the, the treatment becomes expensive. In terms of access, of course, I agree with you. Even access to common health condition in Nigeria is, is not good, particularly when it comes to financial. And geographical access and uh, for cancer particularly um, the access to comprehensive care of cancer can only be found in you know few teaching hospitals that have been upgraded by the federal government and that becomes a problem but i guess what we need to emphasize on is that we need to emphasize as a developing economy on early detection and preventive strategy because prevention they say is better than cure and of course for those who have the uh, the, the, the cancer government and other stakeholders should find a way of guarantees financial protection by way of health insurance so that people, more people can access services. Finally, uh, what can be done to improve cancer awareness around the country since, as we know, the highest chance of survival is early detection? Well, what we can do is to go and do more of what just station is doing now to get uh, public health experts come to talk to people use, taking advantage of the mad media, uh, mass media. Um, I mean, that is, uh, and especially in this age of new media, you know, because the sort of information that is passed, usually on social media, are not the kind of information that help our system, but to the system. So we must have a constructive engagement where the populace are regularly educated on the common causes of, of cancers, the usual predisposing factor, what people need to do particularly women of childbearing age and, of course, uh, men older than 40 years of age. Dr. Babatunde Igbaya, thank you for joining us today on Africa 54.